Hello dear friends. Today we are continuing our pawn and game series. Today in this video we will learn a, a important position, a very important position which mostly appears on the board during playing tournaments or matches. So in this let's check out our exam first example in this position it's black to move so can you guess what's the result while i give you few seconds to think so the result is white wins what some of you might think why so it's black to black should win this position black king can is more closer to the center but that's not the story so uh, it's black to so so let's start with the black move black's best move here is f5 So e into f6 is the fourth move. The unpassant king into f6, king b5, an excellent move. Letting the pawn to promote. So here, black played the move g5. It's also a fourth move for for him. C6, a pawn raise. Is going on. Whoever wins the race will be the winner of the game. So, King e7, King b6, King g4, c7, King d7, King b7, g6, c8, Queen check. So, why? What happened? White won the Olympic pawn race, pawn promotion race. So let's uh, so black played the first move f5. Let's revise this important position f5. G into f6 on the south. King into f6. King b5. Good move. G5. C6. King e7. King b6. King D, uh, sorry, I'm mean, sorry. G4, C7, King D7, King B7, G3, C8 point check. White wins. So I want to analyze some part of this here. Okay, here in this position. Some of you might think why didn't why played King D5. Or why didn't play c6? So let me clear this variations. If white played the move king d5, then black would play the move king d7. Uh, so let's suppose I'm sorry. If white played the move c6, then king d8, d6, king d6. Okay, yeah, g5, c7 check, king c8, king c6. Now this game, when uh, now this game is a draw game, or king d5 is actually forced, king e5. But as the, uh, in earlier videos, we have learned the dual, the dual uh, process of king. So that's why the king d5 move doesn't work. So let's check out the move c6. Why doesn't it work? Black will play, immediately play the move king e7. White is forced to play the move king d4. King d6, king e4, king c6, king f4, king d6, king g4, king e6. King into g6 and it's a dead draw. 
so that's why why didn't so that's why white's only move in this position is king d5 after g5 c6 king d7 king b6 g4 c7 king d7 king b7 g3 c8 queen check white wins let me show you some tricks in this position do you know what this kind of pawns are called as uh, rather than uh, the pawn will be on in the, in this in this wing this kind of pawns are known as the outside passers because the white is called as outside passers because it's outside the wing where all the pawns are there on the board so and another thing i want to show you is uh, i'm going to sh show you something here yeah in this wing on the queen's on the king side wing this pawns uh, when uh, when this pawns are blockaded by a single pawn is known as the a fox in the geese flock have you heard the name of the fox and geese game that's what happened the the geese are uh, close by the uh, the fox have restricted the geese to go and promote it uh, promote or uh, if the geese uh, just uh, go beyond this pawn uh, this pawn or the fox then it will be eaten by the fox so king also that's what that's all for this video thank you and also don't forget to click on the bell icon below the video and the subscribe button thank you and have a nice day